Hello and welcome back to Everything Beauty's YouTube channel, y'all. In the year 2022, we made it. We made it. And I want to thank each and every one of you, um, not only for clicking on the video today, but for those persons who have subscribed to the channel. If you're liking the information, feel free to go ahead and hit that like button and you can subscribe and you can even share the video with family and friends. I'm not going to make this a long intro, so let's get started. We are going to walk down memory lane for the year 2021 and do a recap of all of the wigs that I've worn. But we're going to have a fun twist on it. I'm going to share some interesting facts as I show you different pictures along the way. So let's get started, starting with the month of January in 2021. So I reviewed the following uh, wigs and don't worry, I will link everything below in the description box. So if you want to go back and take a look at the videos, feel free to do so. So in January, I reviewed the Virginia, Anita, Celine, and the Uma wig. Those were very fun wigs to review and here are some of their looks. In February, we reviewed the uh, role model wig. We reviewed the wavy baby wig, which was offered by the Converter Cap um, from Ultra. We also did Tati, and Tati was very fun, and she had that vibrant color. Really enjoyed wearing her. So, and the Amina wig. A wig. Just some interesting facts. Both the Anita and the Amina wig, they are in terms of number of views, the highest viewing videos that I have thus far. And I owe it all to you all. Thank you so much. But let's continue in the month of March. Here we go. So in the month of March, we reviewed the Delena, the uh Doobie wig, which had that pixie mohawk look. We talked about Leora and the Give Me Glamour converter cap as well, along with the Alyssa wig. I do want to invite each and every one of you to leave a comment below letting me know uh, which wig, after viewing all of them, which one is your favorite? I do want to know that. So drop it in the description box once you're done here. So in the month of April, we talked about uh, Q Mariella. Brown Sugar BS 103 unit was a delightful wig. Very pleasant. I love the color in that one as well. We even ventured out and did a Vivica Fox wig, y'all, which was a cap wig. And we did the Bona wig as well. So that capped off the month of April. Now let's... During the month of May, we actually reviewed the Alicia wig and the Davida wig. On 
through to month June, we had the Everywhere Six Wig, and we started viewing some of those very textured wigs. Um, so we had the Afro Cane Wig, along with the M1020 Starter Locks Wig, which I enjoyed doing so very much. And we did the Gal Wig, wig also during the month of June. So we have pictures for the month of July. Tony was one of my favorite wigs as well. During the month of August, we did light 001 style wig along with the Kimbra wig. And who can forget that cute little pin curl 201? <laughs> we also did Tessa during the month of August. During the month of September, we did Natalia, Bailey, and we also did a uh, product review, which was of the Deval Radiant Spin Care System. We also did a wig review of the Mali wig. That all took place during the month of September. For the month of October, we reviewed Patrice. We also did the Freedom Part 205. We also had the Style BS124 and the Style LSW001 to round out the month of October. Now. Now for the month of November, we reviewed Rosie, a style number wig 03, and we even did the MLF 671 Milo wig review, and we topped November out with the River Wave wig. month of December we reviewed the Yaya Joy the Anita wig until I went and purchased a different color so we also did the review on RCNM207 Miriam wig and then we rounded our last video in terms of the year 2021 being filmed in 2021 with the Numa wig As always, until next time, I do want you to take care of definitely yourself and then each other. Expect new and exciting things from me in the year 2022. I'm so excited, you guys. But anyway, I'll see you next time.